Meanwhile, after a hard-fought 2-1 win on Friday night, the Victoria Royals and Vancouver Giants were back at it last night for the second game in as many nights. More than just bragging rights on the line as the two teams battle for second place in the BC division. In fact, Royals came into this one with a two-point lead over their fairy foes. For the second in the division, Royals look to get it going early. Puck squirts in front of that. Everyone just starts jamming away at it, but nothing going, and it remained scoreless. Royals do take the lead late in the first. Casual dump in turns into terrible goal. Defender puts it off Kevin Sunder's leg and in. That was top corner when he tells his friends later. 1-0 for the Royals. Let's jump to the second. Now a 1-1 game when the Giants take the lead. Watch this goal from Brendan Gallagher. That's straight out of a video game. Yeah, nice goal. 2-1 for the bad guys, but the Royals respond right back. And again, it's Sunder, who's looking to impress Vancouver coach Don Hay, who's also the world junior coach this year. That uh, will help. That makes it a 2-2 hockey game. And then late in the second, the home side will take the lead. Puck center goes off Robin Sudek and in. A lot of ugly ones last night, but the Royals are on top 3-2 after two. And that means the home crowd is going to do the wave. There it is. Love to see it. But no one likes this. Third frame, Van City will tie it up. No one takes Merrick to Verdun in front. Yeah, that's never smart. We're back at square one. It's a 3-3 game. A few minutes later, those Giants will take the lead. The ugliest tic-tac-toe goal in hockey history. No pitchers on the score sheet, though. It's 4-3 Vancouver. And then with five to play, the Giants will put it away. Cody Friends and gobbles up the loose puck. That was all she wrote. Vancouver takes a 5-3 the final, so the team split the weekend series. Royals' next game is Tuesday when they host Edmonton, but the boys not too happy with that effort. You get a chance to sweep those guys, division rival, or main rival, and uh, you have a 3-2 lead going in the third period and you don't show up. Um, it's disappointing, just the word. It's a huge rivalry. Uh, it was like that last year in, in Chilliwack, and it continues this year. And I don't think it's going to change during the season. It was it was close. Could have went either way in the third, and you know they uh, kept competing, and that we made some mistakes on our own end. I thought we got caught on the wrong side of pucks, and we paid for it.